Dance with the Sunday, but the comments have been taken over with people saying, what is wrong with your bed? Ah, this this is... It looks like a tarantula. Did you use putty? What's going on? Abby's the only one that's focused. She's got all this stuff ready. <laughs> well, Abby, I bless you, dear. Oh, no, she sent the bed too. Yeah, the bed there. Go. What's happening? So, um, oh, we've got a few exciting things. First of all, this is what I do to my beard to remind me that the clocks go back. I might be making that up. He's trying to mix that up. There you go. So um, I just did this for a bit of fun. And what was weird is I've, I just did this while we were setting up. And then when Emily looked at the comments, I'd already done this. And people were talking about if I cut my beard <laughs> so or not. Now, I'm going to tell you something about my beard that you might not care about or know about. It does get a Do little... Do we take a bite if we can? It does not. It does get a little trim every now and then. It does get a little bit of beard oil to keep up the moisture in the hair as he well. And I've got a special comb for it as well. I might do a... I think you should go and get it. I might. Well, no, I'm thinking... I think I'll do, so cute. I think I'll do some bonus materials on comb. <laughs> I, I seriously do think that. So we've got a shelf special coming up and the comb special country. coming up. So... So, so I just want to explain something about the beard. The beard yeah. is grown in a certain style because of this. This here is what I use when um, I'm doing work in the shed. Like um, I had to get all the paint off of this and I had to use a thing that made the paint and little bits of metal dust go up in the air. And when I spray paint these things, the paints have got high solvents. So I wear one of these. And it's very important that this seals around your mouth. And this is something to bear in mind. If we're making, we need to make sure what we're doing safe. Some of the glues and um, paints we use, we do have to be careful with. So the beard is designed in a very special way. Now, let me explain. I rolled a beard up. I was up not like, ready for this. I rolled a beard up like this. I put the end in my mouth. I'll put this on here like so. You look ridiculous. And I ain't got all that stuff in my lungs. So oh, we can't hear him. Isn't that <laughs> awful? And oh, then, what a shame. So anyway, everybody, and did, um, we're gonna. Here. There we go. Um, Ellen. Yeah. Um, I'm back. You wear that when you do your stuff in your shed, right? So all the dust doesn't yep. get in and stuff. Um, so do you wear that when you do the vacuuming? No. <laughs> because um, things yeah, are because... different. But what I would say is now and then it is surprising what we expose ourselves to in everyday activities. <clears throat> I think it's perfectly normal. But you should do your hoovering regularly and you shouldn't be creating too much airborne dust when hoovering. But do we really need to talk about hoovering? No, not really. It is something. Hey, Grant has put on the science behind what makes up um, beard hair. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Oliver's like, do you wear that to the shops? Nah. <laughs> and Oliver also said, can we just get started? Can we okay, just get fair. started? Okay. That's fair. Cool. First, we're going to do a scrap update. Sprout update. Because there you go. I haven't watered my sprouts today because I'm useless. So, um, before I water them, I'm going to give you a little look. See, I think I've made a bit of a boo boo because, as you probably notice, I'm not great at reading instructions. I'm quite lazy. And I think, anyway, I'll get to it. So, the first one, these were the hipster sprouts. They were the hipster sprouts from Mixed the. Mixed Kwanga seeds. Yep, yep, cool, yep. So, there's a bit of action on there. Bit of green, bit of green. These ones are also quite hipster. They're the mixed uh, stir fry mix. Stir fry mix. These, These are the ones are good. amazing. I'm actually. excited about those. Yeah, me too. We love a stir fry. Yeah. To show the Facebookers. Do you think that's going to last the Friday night? Because it's stir fry. Yeah, it's different. I think so. I mean, oh, but oh, it's the, the last day. tray I'm worried about. Okay, yeah. so the last tray is the alfalfa. So what I did. If you watch the video where I was reading all the packets on live planting, I think I read one of the first packets that said a tablespoon, and then I just thought everything was a tablespoon. But I did, I'm not sure. Because these look a bit crowded, to be honest. Look at those, yeah. Wow. That, yeah, is, that, is, not, that is pretty chocker. But yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see it. what happens. Do you know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like it's a bit crowded, but that's okay. Um, but I'm going to give them a water. 
Um, and oh, we'll bottom tray. oh yeah, I'm getting confused. Okay, so it's got a little siphoning system, which is really good. And you sort of just cover them to the top of the first siphon, and it should go down. Yeah, I reckon there's too many old guffers, man. Yeah, they're all gone. Yeah. Anyway, so that's all good. They're doing pretty good. How's the comments going? I know I'm naughty. Um, Lisa and Annalie, I think, are still in their pyjamas, but it is Sunday, so I'm going to let you off. There's a lot of people still in their pyjamas, and they yeah. seem quite happy to share it. I think that's a beautiful <laughs> thing. There we go. All right, so shall we move on, Alan? So we've walked with the plants. We've got um, We've got a lot. Well, we've got a shorter show to come up with you. The uh, plant-based roast is in the oven once again, mm, and uh, we're getting amongst that. So, yeah, we need to move forward. I think Oliver said, can we get to it? So I think we need to get to our experiment, and we're either going to make it a maker to go along, or you can just watch us, yeah. and um, all is good. I so keep of, your comments coming in. Some people are still in bed in their pyjamas. Don't, don't be doing this activity there. Do it later, maybe over the sink, outside, you know what I'm saying? Cool. All right. Today you will need. I love saying that. You will need some household tap water. You will also need one bottle. You got your bottle out? Yeah, I have got my bottle and my lid. Plastic's probably a good idea, even though I hate plastic. Yeah. And also, uh, we've got some normal cooking oil. Now things are quite precious at the moment. Do not go into your cupboards without checking with the household chopper. That's what I have to say yeah. about that. You only need a little bit. Yeah. So what we're going to do, first thing we're going to do with our water, um, we're going to be scientists. We're going to start really, really easy to remind ourselves what the scientific process is. So, Alan, yep. you can be thinking like a scientist. Um, okay. So the question is, I've got some normal water here. Yep. Okay. In a moment, I'm going to drop some food colouring into the water. So your job as a scientist is, what is going to happen to the water? Mm. Make a prediction, make a guess. People on the comments... I think it's going to turn my favourite colour pink. Okay, that's fine. When we're thinking like scientists, it doesn't actually matter if your prediction turns out or not, which is great news for Alan at this point. But the thing is you do need to test it out and see what happens. So this is the scientific process. We had a question, we've made a guess, we're going to test it out and see what happens. Alan, can you make some observations, please? Yep, I'll certainly can. What's happening to the water? Ah, I can see from my observations my prediction was wrong. Oh, good it's turned right. blue, not pink. And surprise, surprise, they're all coming in correct. It's turned blue. So from our observations, I can see my prediction was wrong. That's right. It did turn pink. It's turned blue. So I'm going to make a new prediction that Emily's finger has turned pink. Blue. Turn what? Blue. 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 Do you think it has? Um, uh, just a tiny little bit. <laughs> uh, I didn't even flinch, man. It's only a little bit blue. Ha ha ha. Anyway, that is just to remind you about the scientific process. It is easy peasy. And like Alan, yeah. your prediction of the turnout, it's all good. No need to cry out. Oh. Yeah, all right. It's this hand. It's fine. Oh, it was that hand. Oh, yeah. Oh. Go. Mm. Anywho, so what well, back to the science. So I have got my bottle here mm -hmm. and I'm actually going to use a funnel because oh, I'm yeah. actually um, really messy and clumsy. Alan's much better at things like this than me. He's got a degree in pouring. Went to art school. Long story. <laughs> Anywho, I've got blue water. You might not have blue food colouring, but you could use another colouring. You could put glitter in it. Get creative. But what I'm actually going to do is pour some cooking oil into the bottle first. See what I'm talking about? This is my life. Thank you, Alan. Can you hold it? Yeah. Thanks. Karen is sharing. Or sharing is Karen. I'm not sure. So how much do you put in? Look, honestly, I'm only going to put that much in. Yep. Like not even. So less than a quarter, really? Yeah, not much at all. Yep. It's all good. Can I put some in mine? Yes, you can. Do you want the funnel? Oh, yes, please. Oh, I know. It's embarrassing pouring stuff all over yourself on live YouTube, yeah. isn't it? To yeah. be honest. You know, at this moment in time, out. it ain't as simple as I can just wash my dirty clothes again. <laughs> I just, you know. Oh, yeah. News just in. Um, signs of being yeah. quite uh, lazy. 
No. We go to the laundromat to do our washing. So at the moment we're doing a lot of hand washing. I'm just wanted a pity party right there. All right. So we don't even wash for shit. So we've got some oil here in the bottle. It's exciting. Yep. Now, Alan, you've got to think like a scientist again. Oh, oh dear. I know. Sunday as well. I know. So in a moment, yep. we're going to pour some blue water into the bottle. Right, okay. So people on the comments, please, lazy science, lazy in advance, that's very good. Um, please put in the comments um, what you think is going to happen when we pour in the water. I'm going to give you a few moments to do that. Um, do you want to make a prediction out loud or in your head, Alan? Uh, I think I'll make it more head. Make it in your head. Do you want to tell your grown up? There's none in the room, so you can't do that. Okay, so I'm um, just waiting for some predictions to come in. What's going to happen when we pour in the blue water? Mm. Come on, Abby, I know you're thinking. Oh, Tim Pink. <laughs> You've got some support there, Alan. There we go, finally. How are we going? Any more? Cool. Well, I'm just going to do it because I'm impatient. Right. Here we go. I'm going to get a little bit closer. Here we go. Are we watching, ready to make some observations? What's going to happen? Oh. Here we go. Oh, look Can at those little it? balls of, um, like, little bubbles of blue water. That's so cool. That is awesome. That's pretty good, eh? Yeah. I've never um, used a funnel to do this before. Yeah. I'm liking it. Tell me when to stop, Alan. I can't stop. really see. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Lucky you're here. Okay. So, oh, you need some water too. Sorry yeah. about that. I've yeah. got to make it yeah. straight away. That's all right. No, 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 right I'm going to put the lid on straight away because, as you know, I'm very um, clumsy. And just going to have a look at the comments to see what you guys are saying. Oh, nice. I'm loving those predictions. That's very cool. Okay. Oh, sorry. I just don't take all the water. <laughs> oh, that'll be interesting. Are you just going to add um, clear water to yours, Matt? Yes, I so kind of want to. Thank you. So you said. Mm. Um, so that is mine. I'm going to hold it up. Alan, do you want to hold yours up? That's all. Right. Yeah. Now, Alan's just going to add. Um, tap water without the blue food colouring. Let's watch what happens. You can make some predictions. I like that. That's cool. So it looks like um, the water's just mixed in with each other, right? And that the blue's spread out. I really like that. That's really cool. So uh, we, from my observations, we can see that the blue water's at the bottom, eh? Yeah. And what about yours? Is it the same? Yeah, yeah, mine's the same. And uh, obviously, my blue water is a little lighter than yours, but that's well, cool. Yeah, I suppose it is, eh? Hey? Yeah. Um, and the cooking oil is at the top. Ah, so these have not come together. They've not made a mixture. No, they haven't. Ah, right, okay. Um, and actually, I think it must be Abby and Zach has said it's darker at the bottom, but why? Yeah, that's a really good question. We're going to talk about that in a moment too. Um, all the water's down here, right? And all the yellow cooking oil is up the top. But what I'm thinking, Alan, if we shake these up, do you think it'll mix? Oh, do I think it will mix? Do you reckon? What do you guys say? So the water and yeah. the blue food colouring is mixed, but the oil and the water hasn't. Yeah, that's true, actually. So, so these two materials it, have mixed. But the oil hasn't. So my question is, is if we shake it, will the oil and water mix? Should we do it? Shall we try it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 totally. Oh. Well, it kind of looks like it has, but actually, if you look really carefully, um, I'll try and get a bit closer. Sorry, Facebook, because this is much easier on YouTube. <laughs> um, you can see. Is this staying the same or is it changing? I feel like it's getting darker at the bottom again, like it's more blue at the bottom. Oh, yeah, mine's getting more Can blue. Can I see yours too? Yeah. Yeah, same with Alan's. Um, so something really cool is happening. Did you want to look at the comments now? Is that where we're up to? Um, yeah, I guess so. So um, people are saying they know it. People are expecting it to bubble up. Um, it it's darker up. at the bottom, but why? Oh, hang on. Is that what it does in the volcano thing? Interesting. Mm. Uh, 
will bubble up. If you heat it, will the bubbles turn blue? Interesting. Oh, co-ventures are on it today. Look at that last comment, Ellen. The water is down at the bottom and the oil is on the top because the water is more dense than the oil. Can we just celebrate saying that? Not only is that a fantastic answer, but the word density yeah, is a really important. big thing. It's to do with the amount of mass and how close that is together. And we use the word weight, but scientists prefer using the word density. So that's awesome. Well done, co yeah. But all of you, nice one, Ivan. All of you are coming. <laughs> yeah. All of you are coming in with some fantastic stuff. So this yeah. is really good. We're really getting this hang of this scientific process and, the word and we're just enjoying it. Yep. Just don't use it in a sentence with my name. You know what yeah. I mean? Cool. <laughs> oh, sorry, I took my eye off the prize. Oh, my fingers. You've got three layers going on. Okay, yeah. So this is exciting. So from my observations, because we're scientists, that's what we do, see all the blue water really wants to be down the bottom and it's separating from the oil at the top because the way oil and water is, these two materials don't actually want to mix. So you take two or more things, put them together, you make a mixture, but actually some things don't like to mix. The way they're made up, their molecules, they don't like to um, they don't like to hang out. They don't want to be friends, okay? So what do they do? They separate. Ah, separate. Everybody cool. say separate. Separate. Just me. Cool. Okay. So they don't want to mix, they want to separate. And the water is more dense than the stuff on top. You might want to say it's heavier, but if you want to be like a really cool scientist, dense is the word to use. Yeah, yeah. and also the uh, we spoke about um, things being made up of elements from a periodic table. We spoke about those elements coming together and making molecules. The oil and the water molecules don't want to mix with each other. They don't want to have a relationship with each other, so that also helps them. Um, to like Oliver said, they don't like each other. So that helps them not, not that makes it harder, sorry, for them to mix as well. <laughs> so uh, I can't see. Michael said, separate. Thank you for not leaving by myself. Um, so these are actually really fun things just to chill out with. Yeah. Um, we don't have any glitter in the house, we're a bit anti-glitter actually, but it is really pretty. Um, I wonder what else you can put. Um, and the ones that you make, please share them with us. Um, I'm trying to figure out how people share stuff to our Facebook page. I think if you tag us, it works. So please take some photos. We'd really like yeah. to see them because you can make some really pretty yeah. stuff. Cool. Um, don't hold them up to the sunlight and look into it, but hold them up in the daylight as the sun yeah. comes through your window and play with them. They're quite you sharp, might man. want to try torches and light on them. They're quite fun. And um, you might even want to decorate your bottle as well. Uh, it is worth maybe sealing down the lid with a bit of tape or something, but the choice is yours. So have a lot of fun with this. Enjoy. Um, I probably will keep mine around today and just kind of play with it and chill yeah, out with it nice. because Sunday we are just bringing it down a bit and we're just chilling out. It's nice to have that rhythm and pattern. We and can't be, ah! And what time. I would say is if you have adults in your house that are tattoos, um, put some tape or glue the lid on. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because if you get this on your shag pile carpet, that ain't okay. going to go down well. There we go. You I don't think Rug Doctor is a central service. So. <laughs> I don't think Rug Doctor is. <laughs> so. um, Abby and Zach have already committed to making one. And it will have glitter. You own that. That's, That's fine. Cool. I want to yeah. see it. Cool. All right. Excellent. So, my friends, we're pretty much done for today. But um, coming up um, tomorrow, we're going to start off with a bit of a bang. And uh, we're going to have some um, some things popping and exploding here today, uh, here tomorrow. And that's going to be the start of our noise week. So we're doing a whole week where we're going to oh, create sound. noise and look at the science of noise and the science of sound. So it's going to be loud. It's going to be Larry. It's going to be good fun. And we Sorry, might even parents. have a new song. We might even have a new song. So that's all coming up next week. Um, we will have uh, a materials list online at some point. Is that correct, Tim? Totally, because that that's part of my to-do list, and that's what I'm going to do. Cool. Excellent. Yep. And, um, yes, yeah, so 
So we've got a we've got a lot to do next week. We've got quite a chock a block a week next week. Um, just to warn you, we are taking Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off next week it's because Easter. it's Easter, and we like to prepare ourselves and enjoy that time in a slightly different way. So we will be taking Easter off. There is going to be one or two bits of content put up that's pre-recorded stuff, but we're talking more about that next week. So I just want to leave you with something. I've just realised something quite important. Whoa! We always get confused with what day of the week it is. So I've just noticed that my um, beautiful calendar from the Shed magazine was still on March, so I need to turn that over. It seems <laughs> most of us has remembered to um, change our clocks back. So, my friends. Alan. Yeah? you got to give the people what they want. What do they want? They're asking for joke of the day. They're asking for joke of the and day. And I think that's fair. Joke of the day. Thank I don't know what the joke is of today. I was actually rostered on for joke of the day today, and then I was too lazy. So, Alan is reluctantly doing joke of the day. But, Alan, you've got this. You've got a joke of the oh, day. Excellent. I always get my punchlines mixed up. So, yeah. Are we ready? Here we go. Drum so. roll, please. Look at the day, look at the day, look at the day. The other week I walked into a I walked into a Burger King and I said to the uh, lady behind the counter, I said, excuse me, could I uh, could I have two whoppers, please? She <laughs> said, you're a great scientist and you're good looking. Oh, snow. That's really funny. So, my friends, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Good luck with understanding that joke. Slightly bizarre, slightly out there, but this is Science in the Van coming to you live from a shed in 275. We all have a little bit of sliding and flying. Let's, Let's get amongst it 